good morning guys it's like almost 10 o'clock in the morning and today is the day that i move out Um, I'm here to give you basically my tips about getting ready for college um I will be a freshman in college I'm going to Valencia College it's in Orlando I'm going for two years and then I am going to transfer over to UCF um as you guys can see I just gave you guys like a little sneak peek like little short clips of me moving it was not much in detail um if you guys want i give you guys like a room tour later on but there's nothing i don't really have anything in my room right now um just basic stuff um i'm so excited guys wait till like i have more it's only july right now um i moved early because i'm impatient and i wanted to move and um but i'm not staying in um student housing this year or at least for i don't know how long but for now i'm going to be living with my godparents so that's the dealio now so i'm here getting a job when i'll get into that with these tips and tricks so let me get started okay but number one pick a college that benefits you like in the most ways possible whether it's how far it is um programs that it has available for you anything like look into those things don't just pick it because all your friends are going there or it's like talked about school like school is school same thing as high school like you go to any high school it's like little things that differ but do like focus on what's important um once you pick a school um look into like make sure you check all the deadlines or requirements and like what's really important like once you're set on that school make sure you sign up for like um the student account because i for the longest didn't sign up for mine and i'm just like yeah so how do i know you know when this happens or when this happens? how do i know when financial aid this this and that and most of the time they don't send you those emails like through your email you have to sign up for the student one and you always have to constantly check that page and that's how you get all your information even once you start going to that school that's how they're going to communicate with you um oh be ahead of the game 
listen for the longest i was like for the longest i was like lacking behind all my friends like i couldn't get stuff done this, this and that i was like oh my gosh but finally i kept pushing i was always checking the page because they tell you what you need like things that you need to submit to the school all that good stuff so i finally got things kind of handled out um it was like by june june is kind of a lot of stuff you don't really know until like during the summer but um i got my financial aid covered um i sent the school everything they needed now it's good so now i'm just really here waiting i'm only here so early because i need to get a job or whatever you're gonna hear people all the time telling you oh my gosh why why are you rushing this and this and that but you never know what happens like i had a friend that was applying and like his stuff he needed like some tax stuff or something and stuff like that is a long process it's like he was doing it but you never know like it might not even be your fault it was like the, the process was like taking weeks to return this and this and that so just you never know what happens in between you never know what plans you have in the summer like you shouldn't be stressing about school when you have downtime look into like because you will have downtime like all that waiting for like paperwork to send this and this and that things to go through um like residency and all that stuff like stuff are not quick all the time so when you have some downtime just um just think about like you're moving like if you even if you are moving you might not be moving but like if you're moving even if you're moving out like you need to look into like things you're gonna need getting rid of stuff you can't take everything you with you unfortunately but um yeah look into things you're gonna need um where you're gonna stay how much it's gonna cost um and see how much you're gonna have to put into that because not everyone has it like that where their parents just pay for everything and you gotta realize like you're gonna have to put some in like responsibility have to pay for some stuff yourself i'm not really a family person but um like that's what was hard for me i'm pretty sure i could have got more help but like i'm not really a family person but if i was i really wish i could like go up to them and ask like let them know hey i'm doing this with my life now i'm going off to college this and that and see like if they'd be able to help like it doesn't even have to be like um something like a constant thing not even that just like i'm pretty sure like if you call people if you have that good relationship call them see how you're doing and they just send 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 money okay so see who you know don't beg people for stuff so that's why it's also important like really see what you can contribute have that backup if you need to put something in have some money to put in because you do not want to be struggling um yeah try to get like an estimate there's like videos and blogs and all this stuff that you could look up like to help you calculate how much like you're gonna be spending um and all that in college like from gas like if you're gonna be driving gas spending how much you're saving food whatever like you still have to live your life you can't just be stuck in your room all day you're gonna want to do stuff friends want to go out you gotta eat so just try to calculate all that um if you have a job like what i did is i don't work there right now but um when i had a job i just kind of added up like about how much i made on average and kind of like did to see what i can afford based on that and then see what was left over you know also like bills a lot of you guys might have to pay bill yeah something that's gonna be a payment or something yeah so just try to think about as much things as possible because you don't want it to come up and you're stuck you know and about work um 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 my godmom's helping me which is really good but um i really need to get on that because i'm like surviving on like 700 dollars. i think i saved up I've been working like really hard to save that money and I got so, rid of so much stuff that I need to like, buy back or like certain things I couldn't take with me so I have to like buy certain things so managing this is really like trying to save the little bit of money I have left is hard because I have like no clothes I have clothes but I have anyways there's stuff I need to get oh job yes so I went to my orientation um sometime in June and um i was able because i had everything done and saturday i was able to set up a schedule it's not guaranteed but like, i have a good idea you gotta be mindful of if you're planning on working you have to be mindful of being able to fit in a work schedule it was 
Tuesdays and Thursdays, like, all my classes are, like, in the morning time. So I could really work whenever, like, whatever time after, like, 12, 1 o'clock. So that plus, and that leaves me time to do whatever I want to do. If I want to go to the gym, if I want to sleep, hang out with my friends, whatever. So that was good. So that's another thing I kind of left out with being ahead. Because as soon as you do stuff, you kind of get, like, more of an idea of how things were. Time to, like... You know, so you're not stressing out last minute trying to figure everything out. But, um, yeah, that's all the tips I have now. If you guys have any questions, um, you can comment them. I'll try to answer. I don't know much now. This is just based on what I had to go through. But, I mean, as time goes on, hopefully I will gain some more knowledge to help you guys out. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, oh, yeah, bye.